Hey Grant, uh, what was it like uh, kind of breaking out of your three-point shooting slump today? Yeah, it was just you got to keep shooting. One of those things where, uh, as a as a shooter, as a guy that you know has this is my first time really going through it as much as I have this year. So it's just a matter of keep keep being confident, letting those things fly, um, consulting the guys around you, and then just playing the game the right way. You know, you can't force it. You can't expect anything else. A lot of the misses were in and outs and maybe short short rims. So. Uh, I knew it was going to fall eventually, so now it's just a matter of staying consistent and letting this kind of carry over. You may mention that you'd been defended differently once you get to that 40 point, 40% three-point shooter, people start running you off the line. First of all, what's it like to have gone from struggling to hitting to now being run off the line and defended that way? Yeah, it's, I, I feel like I went through it all, all this season. You started off, guys were daring you to shoot. Halfway, not even halfway through, guys were like getting there, closing out. Then after that, they're like, "All right, get them off the line." So it's just a matter of like making the right decision each time, because you're gonna you're gonna see different coverages as time goes on. You might get open ones; those are ones you make. You might get ones that guys are running you off. You, that's when you have to make the right play for the next guy. So uh, for me, it's just um, making the right decision, um, continuing to grow, and that's one of the biggest things for me this season. When you when they close out on you and you have to drive it. And that, that's another element of your game that you're, you're working on, right? That, that putting it on the floor, finding, you know, having the head up on a swivel to, to, to find your team. What, what's that progression been like? I feel like that's what I used to do. Something that's more natural because collegially and everything else, guys, you know, you're the, you're the one that everyone's attention on. So for me, the playmaking aspect of it is a little bit easier, but the, I feel like the scoring aspect of it, I got, I've getting, gotten better with as the year has gone on, whether it's just finishing at the rim, uh, there's definitely been kind of ups and downs, but um, for me, I feel like as my progression has gone throughout the season, I've gotten better with not only just playing off two feet, being able to finish over guys through or even around guys, and then uh, just footwork. So uh, that's a progression. That's something that um, is a day by day grind, day by day um, skill set, like growth. So uh, for me, it's just a matter of continuing that, hopefully carrying that over as time goes on through not only this season, but next. What do you see when you're in the corner? and you catch it and you have to decide, I'm letting this thing fly or I'm closing out. At what point when the guy's coming at you, you say, okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I can make the shot or I can drive. Is there, is there no, your, your mentality is shoot, shoot, shoot. And if they fly, then you better get them up in the air and keep it moving. Like it's one of those things where if you're trying to think about it before the play, you're going to like kind of hesitate. You're going to like mess with your shot a little bit. So the mentality is always shoot first and then, um, after that, you you read the read the closeout. How, how do you feel that you, Al and Daniel, are doing just with your bigs rotation? How much experimenting do you guys have to do with Rob out there? Yeah, it's one of those things. Tice is doing a great job filling that role of stepping in. He might not be necessarily the presence that Rob is. Rob's incredible, you know. He's a guy that's unique to anyone else in the league, but um, he's definitely done a, a terrific job, especially over the past few games, of just being that presence for us. And Al's consistent the whole year, uh, consistent OG. So for us, it's just a matter of doing our job. It's less so about um, trying to replace something. It's more so just doing what we need to do every single game and focusing in on um, helping the team whatever way we can. Are you finding that you're asked to do a few things differently? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sort of. It's one of those things where you just have to be a little bit more tighter. You don't have the safety net like you used to. Like Rob gets to gets the shots like no other. So um, you have to a little bit be more, a little bit more locked in, a little bit more present on the ball, a little bit more physical, so that guys don't get behind you. Those are the things that I feel like we all have to have to do and get better with with Rob out for a while for the time he's out. Grant, you played 28 minutes tonight, and the bench obviously stepped up big time. But what can getting extended run like that do for that group of you and Peyton and Derek moving forward for these next three games and then into the playoffs? Yeah, it just gives you a little bit of life. You know, it gives you a little bit more opportunity to kind of like fill the fill fill the ball out. You know, get your shot up, um, especially in games like that where you kind of have a comfortable lead. You can um, really just kind of like get a get a rhythm going. And I feel like that's what kind of the guys have done. Peyton shooting some shots where you're like, oh. And he made them, and I was like, oh, okay, P. Like, that's where the confidence comes in, and I think that he needs that confidence not only going 
moving forward through these next three games, but also the playoffs. We need him shooting the way he is. Same with all the other guys, Derek, myself. Uh, we just got to continue to be confident, continue to uh, play play the game the right way, simple way, and then uh, be aggressive in the shots that we take. Grant, you mentioned in your in arena interview, you know, to the fans, you know, we'll see you in the playoffs. So the next time you play here, we'll be in the playoffs. How much of a night like tonight when you guys are clicking on all cylinders do you think is transferable to what you'll see and face in the playoffs? Yeah, it's one of those things where playoff intensity goes up, physicality goes up. Um, everything's kind of more like amped up. So having the six men that we have in, in Boston uh, is going to help us a ton because they're loud, they're proud, and they're here for us every single night. So I just want to thank them for being here throughout the whole season, but also understand that we're not done yet and there's a lot more to do. And I think that that connectivity will, will continue to not only grow and progress as the playoffs go on, but um, as, as the years go on too. And how much, it seemed like in the second half, you guys really got locked in sort of defensively. You know, you gave up 59 in the first half. Most of that was in the second quarter when they were making some shots. But where do you feel like you guys are defensively at this point? You mentioned not having Rob out there. It's been a little bit of an adjustment. Yeah, we just have to continue to improve. That's one of those things where everyone's kind of like figuring things out. And we're doing a good job of, of doing it during the game. And it's something that we'll have to continue to do for these next three regular season games before we get going the the start of the playoffs. So um, each guy is very locked in intensely, and we're just going to try and continue to progress in the right right direction. Thank you, Grant. Wrap it up right there. Thank you, yes.